Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. We have another Super Nintendo World update for you again. Since I posted the last one, uh, yeah, this came out today at a, a news channel, news journalist, I believe John Schreiber. Um, took his helicopter over Super Nintendo World recently. Now we get a deep dive inside the look of the land. He did this before um, when the land was nearly as complete as it is now. And yeah, so let's go to take a look at this. You can already see some of the flooring has been installed, that yellow, the yellow pathways. And I think I've discovered with that uh, green warp pipe is right there. That, I believe, the second entrance leads to the second entrance and exit to the land. Which is where in the last update where that beige warp pipe comes up by, between the Jurassic World and the Jurassic World bathrooms. There, so let's go take a look. I mean, again. This is uh, early 2023. It's gonna open now. No, it's don't know when this was shot. It could have been shot this morning. It was supposed to stay, but I don't know if it was shot this morning or not. It's November 28th right now. But uh, either way, it's uh, it's either looking like this or it's even more progressed by now. So very exciting times for those soft openings coming in hopefully a couple months. So let's go check it out. This is um. Again, this is on Twitter, John Schreiber, or Schreiber. Let's see what he goes. All right, so if you go zoom in here, um, you see the war pipe of there is finished. So this could have been shot this morning. But here's a they're zooming in. So again, I I love the color, the flooring being laid out here, the cool Nintendo coloring. By the way, there's new Super Mario Brothers trailer tomorrow, or today. It'll be today, November 29th. At the time of me posting this video, I'll be reacting to that later on this evening. So subscribe for that and uh, turn on those channel notifications so you can get that notification. That'll be coming out later on this evening about 5 p.m. or 4 p.m. Um, that trailer reaction should be coming out. But yeah, so going back to the Super Nintendo World. Um, wouldn't it be cool if they had the premiere of the movie right here in the land or behind the land and then everyone gets to go in the land after because it is on the unit. It is an Illumination movie and they can have it right on the back lot and then everyone goes into the land after. That'd be cool. But um, that movie will be opening on April 7th. But yeah, so here's some of the flooring being laid out. I mean, like, a lot of it's already done. Um, looks like something they just paste on the floor. It's kind of lay on the floor. So this should eat. This should Again, this is probably the last thing they'll be done. So, this can all be done in like a couple of days. I mean, even the little outline by Peach's cast looks great as well. If you zoom in here, we'll see a better shot later. But this right here is the Mario Kart ride sign. Now, I'm not sure if the entrance to the queue is right here or if it's just indicating that you have to go upstairs, which is through this warp pipe, um, to get to Mario Kart. Now, it doesn't look like there are these. Uh, this could be a switchback. Yeah, we'll try to investigate if the second floor is all switchbacks, meaning that Mario Kart ride entrance might be right here. But I still think this might be just a sign saying, hey, want to get to Mario Kart? You got to go up these stairs. Then maybe it'll split off into two pathways because you still have to get over here and stuff. So maybe the actual ride line will start in Bowser's Castle, but the extended queue probably, mm, I don't know if it'll take up all the second level. We'll have to see. As you can see, they're really working hard here. I mean, look at that. Pushing random things. Whatever machinery they need. And here's a couple of... I think these are the AR points or AR goggles that you'll need. Or, there's a couple of telescopes in the land as well. Or a lamppost, because it looks like a lamppost without the topper. There will for sure be... Will for sure, there'll be AR goggles involved and stuff so alright so look, look look at this look at this real close look into the land nothing's moving there's Yoshi moving around there's this track um we caught one of my other updates we I caught a glimpse of all this testing which is cool um uh, but yeah look at that close look in the, the levels of Mount Beanpole and look at the little machine the but machinery these animatronics use right there there they are these are the AR goggles right here there's two couple pairs of AR goggles that you can use for the mini games and looking throughout the land. It's look really cool. There's um these those two boxes right here. 
Um, it'll be a nice view just over this standing over here over this castle. Nice view into the center of the land. Look fantastic. Remember, you'll need a initially you'll need a reservation to enter the land. Unless you have a Universal Platinum Pass, then you can use you can get in reservation free using the Universal Express after 3 p.m. Alright, so right there, so you can see, yeah, see, I don't think this is, I don't think this is a riot entry sign. Um, I tried to see if this, this portion here said, like, warning, you know, so there's a typical warning stuff in the height restriction, but no, this just says, I think, it was just an arrow saying, to go through here, you have to get to Mario Kart. Come up the stairs, and go, go through here, through here. Um, there's a fence here, so I'm not sure, this might be for team members, so most likely you come up and enter through here. And then you'll go into Bowser's Castle, and you see the turrets are being um, complete now. But yeah, so Brian entry sign. What is? And there's these again. A couple lampposts will greet you here. They're they're not topped off yet. Zooming out a little bit more. Oh, so this is interesting. So here's the backstage gate. Um, don't need to see this open too often, obviously. But they're working here. They're clearly pushing stuff in and out of here. This leads right to the back of Dino Play, which is just kind of interesting uh, layout here. And Jurassic World is over here. Very easy because you can you know there's the studio tour and stuff is right here, the backstage road. So they can go through here and haul stuff in either with a crane or just on like flatbed right through this gate into the lane, like smaller props like chairs and and even these things, we can haul those through this gate, um, which makes it very, very convenient. Okay, yeah, so, right here, so this is very interesting, so, here's the entrance, of course, or the yeah, entrance to the second level. This is a mini game, and this might have its own staircase to the second level. Here's the air goggles. Here's Bowser's castle, of course. See this entire area switchbacks. You can see the railings. One, two, three, three big switchbacks for outdoor extended queue. Now there's some rumors that the you know, the Yoshi area will be extended queue for Mario Kart. It, from this, it doesn't look like that's the case. Looks like this this is extended queue for Mario Kart. As the indoor course indoor queue is quite extensive as well. The Mario Kart ride only takes up the bottom portion of a multi-story building. So the Indoor portion has a sizable queue when you get in, so I don't think there needs to be that much outdoor queue, which is good. I'm glad that it doesn't look like this Yoshi area is exterior queue, meaning there definitely will be, again, there's always rumors of an exclusive mini game for Yoshi for Hollywood, and it's looking likely that that area way in the back over here that we can see with the tarps is that Yoshi either meet greet or mini game experience but just even if it's a queue just a queue for Yoshi or Yoshi theme not just for Mario Kart based on this footage here which is great um because yeah this whole top floor of the building is queue for Mario Kart so I don't think you need that much queue out outside of the actual building which is good because it's very themed inside the queue interior queue if you look at Japan's it's gorgeous so I wouldn't mind standing in line in there, and even the outside, this is not too many switchbacks to stand in line from, so that is good, even, uh, you know, it's still kind of themed, because, you know, you're just immersed in the land. By the way, the Mario Motor Store's gift shop is not coming here, just the one-up factory, and that is also okay, in my opinion, because you have three, that's right, three Super Nintendo stores here in Hollywood, you have a store in CityWalk, right outside the land, the character shop is the Nintendo Store, and of course, we have the two Nintendo, we have, well, we have four Nintendo stores. The Cindy Walk store and the character shop and the two Nintendo stores on the upper lot. So that's plenty of Nintendo merchandise you can get. Um, and of course, we have the one up factory, which will be the, uh, you know, fifth Nintendo store. Sure, the feature presentation might not last forever, but. Oh, we initially be five Nintendo stores, so plenty of places to get your merchandise. So I'm not stressed or mad that Mario Motors does not seem to be coming here. Because honestly, you can probably get the same merchandise anywhere. And each one of those stores is highly themed, even though it's not in the land. So it's fine with me. 
Um, let me know. Are you upset that the Mario Motors doesn't seem to be coming here? Um, or do you just not care? Because there, again, we're like, boy, multiple Nintendo stores. See, it's your stuff, even right now. Oh, there's a nice little warp pipe there. I wonder if this will be like photo op or just a, just a random warp pipe. I like the mushrooms. Those should, you now, in a land with like no, I mean, there's these trees here, but in a land with, there's uh, like no, like, Actual like trees like Harry Potter has these actual pine trees just because of the land it's in. This is a more cartoonish land, of course. Now, these mushrooms will provide great shade in the rain, and of course, in the, when it gets very hot outside, so these areas will be very nice and shady. And hopefully, they add more. Um, hopefully, because this is kind of I feel like this area will be a hot spot, but a lot of the land seems to be inside, which is fantastic indoors. Either going to the mazes, mini games. Or just indoor chilling somewhere where they're in the queue. So a lot of it's indoor, but there are some hot areas that can be hot spots or wet spots and you know, heavy rain. This one being one of them, so I wonder if they'll add something um to maybe shade it up a little bit. And maybe maybe this area as well. But we'll see. Looks like something's under construction here. Or no. Looks like a wooden fence. A completed wooden fence of some kind. And maybe, and what is this? Looks like a piranha plant. Maybe, maybe this is a mini game. Maybe it's like a little key for a mini game here. Interesting. It kind of looks like one, but is it, why is it gray? Interesting. I'm curious to see um, what this is. Um, this, let, uh, let me know if you guys look, if, if this area looks familiar from Japan, like a mini game or something. Because it looks cool. I'm definitely excited to check it out. Well, the whole land, but that's cool. And look at that. So, here we go. So as you can see, you can definitely see the switchbacks starting to be built here. You can see the little fencing. This is scaffolding here, but these areas are, you can see the dots for just a whole bunch of queue, particularly to be built, because this will be entrance to Bowser's castle. His eyes are still blue. These little ones should become red. And uh, yeah, look great. And the turrets will be done probably pretty soon. But yeah, this is probably a giant extended queue area for the main queue for a really, what I've heard is a really fun ride. It's not fast, but it's still very fun. Let's see. And Peach's cast is looking amazing. I'm mean, look just about done. I mean, just some touch ups. You have a nice checkerboard floor in there. This area, the checkerboard. Circle, um, it's a backstage gate right there. It leads right into this little tiny area where cast members and maybe the meet and greet characters will go. But I oh, don't know, I feel like that's too big of a spot. Actually, they'll probably go into a small uh, Daisy and uh, Mario and Luigi and all those characters will probably go through a smaller doorway. This is kind of big for them. We'll break the immersion, but another nice door to haul supplies in and out. When they're under building a thing, it looks looks great. I mean, the Peach's Castle actually looks fantastic. The whole land does, but particularly Peach's Castle, you can see some of the stuff is kind of dusty still. Obviously, because they're working on it, and they'll give it a nice big clean up. And some of it's still in tarps, but they'll clean it all up, give it a power wash by the time it's uh, all done, and then it'll look nice and sparkly by the time the soft opens in January. These areas look to be obviously for some planters, which would be quite nice. Nice little planters there. Can we see Peach's, Peach's Castle on one of the uh, movie posters for the new trailer coming out today? It'll be tomorrow or today when this video is out. But uh, Peach's Castle looks gorgeous. Illumination, does, their artists are doing a fantastic job on uh, this movie, just like they do with all their movies. But this movie particularly looks absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to see it just for that reason alone. Here's our one and only inland gift shop with another flag there, and here's some more AR opportunities right there. Or a menu. No, no, no. Toast Cafe is over here. Here's the restrooms. Can't wait to see these. In hopefully these restrooms are as in theme and as cool as the Moaning Myrtle restrooms and Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Like hopefully it's really cool. Hopefully there's music playing in there. Um, and I have. 100% faith Universal will make the restrooms just as cool as those because, I mean, look, even the sign looks great. 
No. Excited to go go wash my hands in there and just check it out. And yeah, here's the land's gift shop, the one up factory, which will have probably have the same merchandise or maybe we will have some inland exclusive merchandise in there, but I feel like it might just have the same merchandise that all the Nintendo stores currently have, which is great merchandise. I have some sitting on my uh my dresser right now. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there'll be more new designs. And it'll be like Potter, where they have many Potter stores, and they're all in themed. Um, that section of the stores in themed. Um, they have kind of the same merchandise, um, except the, oh no, I've seen the chest set and other places too. But yeah, uh, if this store is as themed as the Filches, uh, that'd be great. Because even though Filches has a lot of the same merchandise you can find everywhere, I'm looking for some things. I think some of the stuffed animals creatures that you can get exclusively there but um it just looks great i mean it's really if you really theme your stores properly in restaurants it'll be just, it'll just fantastic and universal is definitely stepping up that in recent years so yeah i'm excited about that and here's another lamp post um, let's say they're all there just waiting for the tops to come and here's the better look at the the flooring here the ground if you walk on this is the fake grass painted concrete probably and the pathways, just like you walking in the game. And look, there's the, um, like, sensors of some sort are flashing. Let's go right back just for a second there. See, there, these sensors are, like, flashing. Alright, so yeah, here's that area I was looking at before. And yes, so this is a Prana plant. It's not gray, but it's wrapped in plastic. And yes, this is now upon a further inspection that mini game they have here. So it's a little queue for that area, and then you're coming up here and doing your little AR power band work, getting some points uh, for that mini game, which is cool. And I uh, love these themed windows as well. But yeah, I'm excited to play this mini game. It's, very, it's nice. It's a big area, bigger than I thought. The last look uh, overview look here. Again, this area is, so right here, is right there is this, the, the Jurassic World uh, lower lot restrooms right now. If you look behind these, there's some, or not construction walls, but those bushes, those fake bushes they use to block the view. There's a beige warp pipe. I'm surprised they didn't make it green, but yeah, it's a beige warp pipe. It does match the buildings. And, uh... Yeah, this kind of just leads lead right into this area as a secondary entrance and exit. I think I propose um, total guessment, no rumor or anything. I'm just speculating that upon at least in the beginning, the first maybe like the summertime, first like yeah, for just through summertime, first six months. I feel like this will be an exit only, and then the only entrance will probably be the main entrance, and then this will be the only way to exit. You know, kind of like what they did with Galaxy's Edge. So you. Enter one way and exit one way. Just kind of control crowd flow, at least in the beginning. Then eventually you can probably end, enter and exit through here or the other entrance as well. And yeah, that's it. Um, looks fantastic though. I'm, ooh, he got this like right in the sunrise. It looks beautiful. But yeah, this is a good, great shot. Um... At uh, Nintendo. Um, wow, I didn't realize this video was like 20 minutes long already. But yeah, just a really deep dive. There's a lot of detail going on in there. But what do you guys think about this awesome breakdown about Nintendo? I know they're super excited. Probably like, oh my gosh. Enough with the updates. I just want the land to open. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And of course, subscribe for the breakdown of the new Super Mario Brothers movie trailer coming down later on today. Turn that notification button on as well. I'll press the like button, and as always, have a fantastic day.